Hello, I'm live. I might be here a little early. I'm gonna see as you guys pop on here. Hi, welcome to my live today. It's Sunday and it's my live day during January live here on the Be Jones Style channel. I love doing these for you guys. It's kind of fun. I feel like I am getting ready to sit down and then we're just going to kind of hang out today. And I love that. I love that. I feel like it's not just me creating a video, editing and putting it on my channel, but it's actually an opportunity for me to just sit down and get ready and know that I'm going to hang out with you guys. Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Good to see you guys all who are joining today. So today we are doing um, hair and makeup. As you can see, I have no makeup on. Can everybody see? Is everything good? Hi. Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for joining. Um, is it too bright? Let's see. Is that better? I think that's better. Okay. Um, anyways, so I am really going to jump in. I'm going to be doing my hair and makeup. You guys on Instagram have asked a lot about this big kind of hair flip thing. Hi, you guys. Hi. Thanks for joining. Hi, Ellen. Um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions about my big hair flip and also just uh, kind of the makeup that I've been doing lately. Not that it's anything mind blowing or different, uh, but I'm just going to kind of do my everyday makeup for you guys. Hi, you guys. Hi, Amy. Thanks for joining. Hi. Hi, Angela. So what I want to do is do my makeup for you guys. And while I'm doing it, I'm hoping I can kind of answer questions as you guys ask them. You can ask beauty questions. You can ask skin questions. You can ask uh, you know, anything related to fashion or be Jones style or whatever. So I want to be here to answer questions, but because we have a lot to do today, I'm going to get started. I recently, well, actually I've been using, uh, thank you guys. Um, Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know if you guys have jumped on that bandwagon, but I, I started out with getting her magic foundation and I've just become a huge fan. I love, um, her tutorials that she does on YouTube actually. And I just always feel like I'm kind of pulled into this like sixties British rock star vibe whenever I hang out and watch her videos. Um, so I started using her foundation, but then I got her magic cream, which this is just luxury in a bottle. So I'm going to start with that today. It's her magic cream. It's all about um, moisturizing your skin. And honestly, it, I don't know what it is, but something about it feels magical when I put it on. Uh, you know, those things that just make you really happy in life, just simple little pleasures. That is this cream. Hi, you guys. Thanks for joining, Louise. Um, this, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and I do feel like I've been using it lately. I actually had them do it to me uh, in the mall, and after I'd had my makeup done, I was like, I have to have some of this Magic Cream because it really does feel magical. I love the smell. I love the texture. I love when I put it on. I feel like my skin gets really glowy and kind of just super moisturized, but not greasy feeling. And I feel like lately I've had a lot of comments on my skin looking just like really fresh, which you guys can kind of see this is um, leftover from I got a uh, viral infection when I got a chemical peel, which I will tell you guys that whole story. I'm waiting to finish the process with my skin before I tell the whole story. Um, so if you see this strange red stuff on my skin, that is what you're seeing. The next thing I'm going to use is Charlotte Til Tilbury's um, Wonder Glow. This is just, I'm all about like kind of a dewy skin. And this gives this uh, soft uh, focus beauty flash. So I'm using that. I like to just, at the end of the day with my makeup, I, I really am all about kind of the coverage and the overall like foundation and the face and then I'm not super into like tons of eye makeup. I mean, I definitely do my eyes, but I feel like I love to just create a great kind of foundation and palette and skin look. Um, and then I'll play with my eyes depending on the day, but, um, and I'm really into using my fingers lately. I feel like instead of brush, I don't lose any product. And then also it just, I feel like it kind of soaks into my skin a little bit better. So I've kind of been into doing that. Let me see. I'm trying. I feel like I'm a little blown out. Do you guys feel like you can see pretty well? Okay. So next I'm going to do my foundation. Vanessa, you like to do the same thing. Awesome. So I do with my foundation, I do use a brush. Um, I'm using the Char Charlotte Tilbury, um, magic foundation and 
yeah, I just like the coverage that it gives, but then it doesn't feel too heavy. Hi from Scotland. Hi, Emily. Thanks for joining. So I put a little product on my face and then I'll just go in and start kind of tapping it on and blending it in. And I like to try to use as much of the product in one swoop, I guess I'm trying to say, um, all over my skin. And I love like after I've put on that uh, magic cream, I feel like my skin looks so kind of dewy and fresh and I feel like the foundation lays on my skin so nicely. So I'm just going through and send me any questions as I'm doing this. If you guys have any thoughts or if you want to talk about anything that I can try to answer while I also do my makeup, um, I'm happy to do, to do that for you guys. So um, yeah, so I, I used all that foundation. It covered most of my face. I'm going to go over and kind of finish off over here. Um, how 15 years old daughter the leopard print is not all. Huh. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna put a little, what brush are you using? Okay, this is actually e.l.f., which you can pick up at Target, and they're really cheap and great. Um, they've sent me some products before, and this is the product that I keep buying. It's just their um, ultimate blending brush, and it's cheap, and I just kinda like it. It really works. Um, oh, I'm trying to see your comments. I always kind of fried. Sorry, guys, okay. I wanted to ask which one you do first, your hair or your makeup. I always do my makeup first. I like, I actually usually like to have my hair back when I do my makeup, but I didn't do that for you guys today. Um, just cause I am gonna do my hair for you. So I already have it down, but usually I like to have my hair completely back out of my face, get my makeup done. And then a lot, um, a lot of times my hair is so much about just like a quick little touch up. I don't do too much to my hair, so the stuff that takes me the most time is my makeup. All right, so that is what I do for my foundation and moisturizing, which I love. I just, can you guys see how kind of glowy and dewy I feel like my skin looks? I love it. And I'm actually, um, I used to be very much about tons of concealer. Um, and covering up every little thing, which I have this redness, but I just, I've just decided to accept my flaws a little bit. And I actually think it looks better to just kind of leave my skin as is with the foundation and not conceal too much. I mean, if I have like a, you know, nasty zit or something, I definitely conceal it, but I don't even get too heavy handed with that. And then I use the uh, Maybelline Instant Rewind or Instant Age Rewind under eye concealer. I don't know if this is the best or not, but it works for me. And it, I just get it at Target. Thank you, Emily. Your skin looks so glowy. Thank you. So I just tap a little bit under my eyes. I like that it has a little sponge. And again, I go in with my fingers. And I've been doing this a lot because I feel like with brushes sometimes it almost like creases strange. Um, and so I like that I can kind of really just like tap it into my skin and get it real like soaked in and smooth. And I want everything to be, even though I am wearing a lot of makeup, I want it to look... Um, you know, flawless and kind of fresh and not too um, cakey. So I feel like with tapping it on with my fingers, it almost like soaks into my skin a little bit better. So kind of go up under my eye. I like to go back down around my nose, kind of get that redness there. You want to have a chemical peel done, so I'm looking forward to hearing about my experience. Yes, I unfortunately had a harder experience than most people. Most people have a great experience with a chemical peel, and I've had a great experience in the sense that my texture, my skin is amazing. Like, I feel like it is so much more um, glowy and younger looking and fresh. I just unfortunately got a viral infection. Um, because once you have a chemical peel, you become as susceptible to more things happening to your skin. After I'd had the chemical peel, I ended up getting a viral infection, which my esthetician was like, it could have been your pillowcase, it could have been your finger, it could have been a piece of hair, whatever. Um, and that's why I ended up with kind of like a long-term problem situation or like it went longer than normal. Um, help this 60-year-old to find and thrift her quirky style. Um, it's all about just like playing and having fun and 
experimenting. Okay, so I've done all of what I do for my skin. I used to wear a powder, but I haven't been wearing that as much lately because I do love like with the magic cream and everything. Hi, Judy. Um, I feel like it's just so glowy and I kind of want to leave it as glowy as possible. Next up is my eyebrows. I, I don't... Uh, I hardly tweeze my eyebrows. I don't get them waxed or anything. I really leave my eyebrows alone for the most part. And I've kind of been doing that for maybe like a year or two. Um, so there are some like crazy stray hair sometimes, but I just kind of like that. Thank you. You like the sweater. I've been wearing it like this, but it's not staying down while I'm doing my hair and makeup. Um, but yeah, so I just brush my brows up first and then I go in. This is a Bobbi Brown brush that I've had forever that is their eyebrow brush and I love it. I've had it, like I said, forever and I just go in with this really old, what is this even? This is actually an eyeshadow palette from, um, who is this? Covergirl? I don't know. L'Oreal. L'Oreal. I use this. I like their matte colors. And then I take this kind of neutral shade here. If you guys have watched any of my makeup tutorials before, you've seen a lot of these products before. But I just go through my brow. I don't like to like color it too much. I almost just like to make as if there's more hairs there by kind of brush stroking it like eyebrow hair. So I'm not super into like that real like shaping that I uh, that is out there more. I like to almost just kind of like brush it in. Are you using, still using crude oil? Okay, so I love crude oil, but I had just was having so many issues with my skin and it wasn't working at the time. I might go back to it. Right now I'm almost still post chemical peel and I haven't gone back to my old products yet because I'm just almost doing maintenance on my chemical peel, but I do love crude. I'm such a huge fan. I love oil cleansing. Do you like to do different makeup depending on what you're wearing? Um, yes, if I'm, if it's kind of more of a special thing or if I'm like really being intentional with what I'm wearing, like if it's an everyday, I pretty much stick to similar makeup right now, just where I'm at in my life and how busy I am. I don't have time to think about doing a different look but if it's like time you know like say I'm going out somewhere fabulous or I have a fun event or you know something like that I definitely think about my makeup and switch it up um when is the next lookbook can you define what you mean by lookbook is that like what I wore or do you have any recommendations for a very light foundation I honestly I mean I love what I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation because I've always had issues with my skin. I definitely like a full coverage makeup. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if I would say like a light foundation. I mean, I feel like this feels light to me. Um, you guys know my next step, my favorite Maybelline bow, brow drama. That is really hard to say every time I say bow drama. Anyways, there, I use their blonde shade. This is my favorite eyebrow product right now. Um, yes, what you wore. So everyone's asking about when is my next what I wore and that will be coming back monthly. So every month you'll get to see a what I wore starting in February. All my regular videos will start back up. Um, and so definitely February, I think mid February, I have it scheduled to come out and then, you know, goes from there. So you'll see March, April, May, June, uh, through the rest of the year. I did what I wore mess, which was fun to do all of, um, December, but it is better for me to do it more monthly, not as often because I feel like I would burn out otherwise. <laughs> um, I love filming it for you guys, but to create a outfit every day and film it, um, yeah, it's more fun to kind of just get dressed and not have to film it all the time. So anyways, every month, so you can expect it mid February to come out that maybe that second to third uh, Thursday in February. So as you can see, hopefully you can kind of see it just I kind of pull up those uh, brow brows right here in the center and then kind of brush it out and almost like that feathery look. So that is what I do with my eyebrows. And I'm pretty much done with all of that. Uh, when you experimented with Botox, did it help with your acne? I loved getting Botox. I love getting Botox. I actually currently you can tell I need some more, but um, I didn't notice that it made a difference with my acne though. Um, Cause either I had acne and I got Botox and I 
can see a difference and then I've really gotten my skin has gotten so much better and but that didn't really have anything to do with the Botox I think it had to do with a lot of other things that I did um, okay so then the next step that I will do will be my eyes um, so I love this palette it's from CoverGirl it's their true naked nudes I'm just such a fan of like very simple shades and I keep it pretty basic um, thank you so much for your comments on my on my skin um, actually real quick I'm gonna use that same color that I used in my eyebrows I'm gonna go in with this big kind of fluffy brush and I'm gonna go and just kind of dust it in that um, eye socket area on both my eyes kind of go in the eye socket I'm very much I feel like with hair and with makeup I like things to feel like a little imperfect and undone so with like eye makeup I like it to feel very buffed out and blended I don't like it to be too perfect in a way um, and then I'm going to cover my whole lid how did you deal with growing out your bangs so I'm still growing out my bangs which is why this big hair flip kind of thing has come into play it's because they're still growing out and so I had to figure out ways to wear them um hi let's see you you're asking how have uh have you gone thrift shopping i love your thrift haul videos i've taken a little pause not like a total pause but a little pause on uh thrifting just because i feel like i thrifted so much near the end of last year with all my videos and all that kind of stuff that i feel a little overwhelmed by how many uh how many clothes that i have so i'm actually currently cleaning out my closet you guys will get to hear more about that um you're loving my hair flip thing um, I know I don't want it to go either so hopefully I can still pull it off like when my bangs grow out but it's definitely a growing out process thing too um, you accidentally skipped my question can you send your question again so that I can see it sorry it's hard to like do the makeup and then also see the questions as they come in um, yeah so I cover my whole lid I do the whole eye socket um, and then I will go in quickly with oops I gotta grab one of my little brushes this is beauty counter I love this brush it's just a detail brush um I don't see a number or anything like that but I love the little detail brush and I've kind of quit using like eyebrow or eyeliner pencils um and I'll go into this true naked and I'm gonna use sorry it's like broken so I don't want to like get makeup everywhere but I just go into with that really really deep deep brown and I'm just going to kind of line my eyes right here along the lash line. So I like this brush because, I don't know, something about using like eye powder instead of uh, a pencil. I just like, because like I said, I with my makeup, I like things to go, um, to be buffed out and a little imperfect. So with, um, with eyeshadow, I can buff it out easier. And then I just got a question that was ac um, asking... Who takes my photos which I actually um, take a lot of my own photos with a tripod and you guys have all been asking how I do that how I edit my photos and I'm thinking I'll do a video about that whole process but I take a lot of my own photos with my tripod and then um, the ones where a little bit more editorial like I've done the holiday party looks um, a girl named Taylor has taken those and she's great anytime I've used a photographer they're credited but otherwise they're me so if they're not credited I'm taking them uh, and then I'm gonna go in with this kind of little fluffy brush here to kind of buff out that line that I just created have you ever bought something in the way we wore shop I recently found LaFrock stars on YouTube and was amazed by um, Doris Raymond and her outstanding vintage knowledge I have not and I, I haven't checked that out so I will go check that out um yeah so I'm just going in and I'm kind of just going along the edges and like buffing those out a little bit um blending it and so it's almost not even really a line anymore it's almost just like a blended definition and then I'll go back in with that big uh, buffing brush or wondering what your ethnic background is you know what I don't totally know I mean I think I have British in me maybe some German but I don't know a lot <laughs> um, and then this is what I like to do I kind of like to on the corner go like with this big blending brush I like to go under my eyes almost for like a little smoky eye as you can see I'm not using tons of product I'm almost just using the little bit that I have there and then working with what I have 
Um, and then I do like to go back with, um, if you went to college, where did you go and what did you study? Um, I went to a school in Birmingham, Alabama called Samford University and I, uh, studied. Okay. So now I'm sorry. Now I'm going in with a, my palette broke, so I don't want to turn it over, but like this kind of more shimmery dark brown. I put that on my pencil and I go a little bit under the eyes to kind of give a little bit of that smoky look. And then I'll go back up here, put that up on the line there. And again, I just go back and I buff that out again. So just kind of buffing that out at college went to Samford uh, University in Birmingham, Alabama. And I studied actually, um, like radio, television and film, uh, broadcast journalism and wanted to be on camera. And, um, and then, yeah, I did like media performance kind of stuff like that. Oh my gosh, how funny. Yeah. Sanford, Deb Jacobs. That's so funny. Your husband went to Sanford too. Um, and then I actually transferred out to California and finished up school at a school out here called Biola University in, um, La Mirada, California. And I did my last year there. Um, and ended up going to the fashion world instead of the radio, television, and film world, but ended up doing a lot of on-camera stuff like you guys see. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of how I did my eyes. Kind of simple. I like to go back in with this concealer brush and almost just like clean it up a little bit. I know some people do concealer after they do their eye makeup. I, I don't do that. Um, so yeah, so I go in and kind of just make sure it's clean. It's not too much product on there. And then my last is that I go in with Charlotte Tilbury's uh, Full Fat Lashes. I've been loving this. Lexi, you're, uh, you tour Biola. That's so fun. Yeah, so I go in with this mascara. It's her full Charlotte Tilbury's Full Fat Lashes. I love it. It does really make full fat lashes and I love that. Um, and so I kind of just, I like, uh, again, I feel like same thing. I like my lashes to almost kind of have this like chunky and perfect look to them. And then um, let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to go, what changed your direction? I can actually see you in journalism. Um, well, I, I mean, I actually always wanted to do something with like styling and fashion, but back in the day when I was thinking about colleges and stuff that wasn't, that didn't seem like a reality. People didn't have, that I knew of, didn't have jobs within the fashion industry. It was like you had to live in New York and know somebody. Um, and so I kind of, my other interest was like performance and on camera work and that kind of thing. And so I thought it was more realistic to go that route. And then once I was actually in it, I realized I didn't want to be like broadcast news because I don't know. I didn't want to chase the story and all that kind of stuff. It just didn't seem like my jam as much. Um, and really once I was like further into college, it was more about just like finishing up and getting my degree. And, um, and then right out of college was when I started to kind of dream about this whole fashion thing again. And like, how can I make that happen? I then go and do my bottom lashes. Um, Today's news is different area also, as we know, totally, yeah. So I like to almost kind of with my bottom lashes, do this like little, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, like a little smudgy, smudging. And you can kind of see my lashes are like, kind of have almost more of that like 60s look, which I feel like actually Charlotte Tilbury's makeup is totally like that British 60s rock star vibe. So I like being inspired by that and more of that like doll lash look so I love it um what about leopard print what is the best color for blue eyes wearing leopard print is that what you're asking happy Sunday Stephanie I'm curious what fashion magazine you like and what style bloggers you find inspiring um you lighten your hair and looks very good thank you okay so that um real quick I'm gonna finish up my makeup try to answer those questions as they came in um let's see what was the questions uh Favorite fashion magazines. Oh, sorry. I'm using Glossier's Cloud Paint. I love their Cloud Paint. This is their Puff Pink, which as you can see, I'm wearing a pink sweater. So I'm going to kind of do like pink cheeks and I like to just like tap, tap, tap it on. And then I'm going to go back real quick with that um, 
blending brush and just kind of like blend it in and make sure it's like really blended and soaked into my skin. I feel like the light is so bright. Are you guys able to see what I'm doing? I hope so. Um, so let me, I use like just a little bit of that cloud paint because it's very pigmented and you really got to like dab it quickly. I feel like otherwise it, that I have a darker color that like really pigments my skin. So you kind of like got to get on it right away. Um, so yeah, so now I've got all my little pink on magazines that I love. Um, I love Vogue magazine because it's Vogue. Um, and I just love like, they're so it's an art and I feel like we're losing some of that art sometimes and I feel like Vogue is creating art and I still want to like celebrate that art um okay so I'm gonna start moving on to my hair I've already kind of as you can see this is all like texturized already and got the wave in it I want to answer that magazine question so Vogue I love I actually love a lot of the teen magazines I love teen Vogue I just love it feels like girls playing dress up a little bit and I love that um I like nylon magazine it's a little offbeat and just like cool super cool and edgy um I used to I haven't gotten in a while but I love Jalouse magazine I'm probably saying it wrong but it's a French magazine I love it I used to love L.U.K. I haven't gotten that one in a while either um yeah those are some of the ones I feel like I go to a lot um, I usually a lot of times like the European magazines just because, I don't know, it feels a little bit different. I love like um, like El China and, uh, and the, uh, <clears throat> Vogue China and that kind of stuff. I just love to see what they do. So anyways, real quick, I just want to talk about my hair and the products that I used before just to make sure I have texture and life within my hair after I wash it. And I, um, I've recently been using this and I love it. It's Mazzani. Um... It's Mazzani, and I use their Sculpt and Hold. Um, I put that on wet hair, and then also Mazzani, their Styling Sculpt and Hold Lived in Sculpting Paste. And so I put both of these in my hair when it's wet after the shower to like give texture to my hair before I blow dry it or anything like that. And then I don't brush my hair. I pretty much just like kind of finger through my hair after I blow dry it because I don't want to like brush out any of the texture that came into my hair. And so this is pretty much what I work with just on like a daily basis. I might throw a few little extra curls in. Um, oh, my curling iron went down. So I'm going to, I'm going to answer some questions because my curling iron cooled down and then I'm going to style these pieces of hair here up on top. And my 15 year old daughter associate the leather brand of easy roll. Okay. Um, hi, Norbia. Good to see you. It's 6.15 here in the morning. Are you up that early watching? Crazy. I love you, girl. Thanks for always being such a supporter. I love it. I'm going to tie my bangs. These are my bangs, you guys. I'm going to tie those out of the way. Pull down these few little hairs here. Hi from Poland. Hi. Welcome. And I just said I don't brush my hair and then I grabbed a brush. I just brush out the tangles. Um, you can kind of see... I might throw in a few little curls right here so you guys can kind of see what, um, how I do that. Let's see if this is hot enough. Yeah, I think it's hot enough. So basically, if you've watched any of my hair tutorials, this is my go-to standard. I know a lot of people use straighteners. I don't. I use big fat curling irons. I curl it away from my face. This is the little trick is when I pull it out, I twist the curling iron. I twist it away from the face. I leave out that end so that it's not curled. And then this is my other trick, not that it's a trick, but I always say finger through it. Don't leave it in the perfect little spiral because, um, yeah, I feel like it gives it a more cool, like undone look if you finger through it. So curl it away from the face, hold it, let some heat get in there. Again, pull it out and you're twisting, 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 twisting. So you're getting this whole twist. You can see I've left out that piece there and then I just yank it out. Now don't leave it like that because then that's kind of just looks strange. Finger through it. Always finger through it and like mess it up. Give it some life. Give it some texture. Give it some love. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll go over here and do these pieces over here so you guys can kind of see that again. As you can tell, like I'm doing this super fast and this is really how I do it. Um, I do it on a daily basis and really this is kind of how like I wouldn't have done this hair as you can see like this is my just out of the shower the way my hair dries 
and then I just kind of throw in some pieces maybe here in the front to like give it a little more life and not have it straight. Um, so yeah, so there we go. Pull that out, finger through both of those. Okay, so the last little product that I like to use is again another Mazzani product. It's their styling uh, finishing spray, lived in finishing spray. When you used to have curly bangs, did, um, when you used to have curly bangs, did that only work when your bangs were short? I think I could probably still do it now, but my, my bangs are pretty long that I feel like it would be hard to kind of work with. Um, okay. So this is the styling spray and I love like a lived in textury spray. And as you can kind of see, it gives it this I think you can see like it gives it a little texture. It doesn't feel like hairspray, but it just like grits up your hair. And I love that. So I put in that, make sure that's all textury. And then here's my bangs. And this is where the kind of flip part happens. And I might just actually throw in a little bit of that um, spray there just to make sure those pieces have texture to them and are not too soft. So this is my bangs. Um, as you can see, like the length, and it gives a great bounciness. I know, I love that product, it's so great. So the, okay, so then this is what I do. It's nothing crazy, but basically I kind of start here, right at the root, and I think you could do this with longer hair, I just don't have longer hair yet in the front, so I don't know how it'll work. But basically, I just kind of grab a little piece here, and I'm going to go in and do the exact same thing that I did with the rest of my hair. And I'm going to roll it away from my face. But I kind of pull it up and over. Um, thanks, Louise. And I just kind of hold it there. And I really want to use the, um, the heat to get volume on these pieces here. Does your hair hold its volume throughout the day? If so, what product do you think contributes to that? Um, I do think I have a lot of hair. So that definitely helps. And then I do think the products that I put in when it's wet help to give it some like texture and life. And then, yes, I feel like really I use this and it gives more texture. Okay, I'm twisting it away from my face and then I'm going to just kind of pull it out like the rest of my hair. And I've got the same that I've got here, but I'm going to just like flip it over there and I'm going to do that all through this. So it's just like, did you use a texture paste? I missed that part. Yeah. So I use, um, this was like while my hair is wet, I use Mazzani's uh, Sculpt and Hold Lived-In Sculpting Paste. I use that. And I also use their um, Lived-In Texture cr uh, Creation Cream. So both of those are when it's wet. And then I use the spray once it's dry. So again, I'm kind of like taking these straight little chunks putting the heat on it, rolling it away from the face, just like I do with the rest of my hair. Really make sure um, that it's getting volume from the heat in these pieces here on top. And then again, doing the same thing. And then I'm flipping it over there and then I'm gonna keep going down. So it's like I'm going boop, 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 just down here and like not big chunks at a time, like taking like individual chunks. Leaving that in there. I feel like there's questions I didn't answer. Somebody was asking about leopard print, wearing leopard print. I'm not totally sure. Um, or if there's other questions you wanna send me, send them my way. Um, so roll it away from the face, flip it over, and then I'm probably just gonna take this last chunk here and that'll be it. So it's like four. Um, Roll it away from the face. Okay. And there we go. So now I've got these pieces. I'm not gonna play with, mess with them yet. I'm just gonna kind of bring them back over here. And then we're gonna go back onto this side, same thing. She is the closet organ. Oh, is the closet organization or thing happening? Yes, it was supposed to happen today, but just because of scheduling, it got um, changed. So I think it's gonna. I'll let you guys know, but I think it's gonna be maybe next week 
or the following week but I took all my clothes out of my closet the girl one of um, the closet organizer is actually coming over this week we're gonna start working on it and then we're gonna do a live where we kind of answer your questions and show you what we've done and different tips and tricks to organizing your closet I feel like I actually messed up there I gotta go like thinner any tips for organizing your closet um Sorry guys, this I lost the heat on my curling iron. That's why it wasn't working. Okay, um, I'm a big fan of taking everything out. And that's what I did. I took everything out and then kind of, I like to then go and make sure it's like sectioned off by each different thing. So I've got like all the sweaters, all the shirts, all the um, jackets, all the skirts, that kind of stuff. And then, um, and then I'll go through and actually start weeding out the things for sure that I don't want to get keep. And then I will do it again and try to really be <laughs> harsh and like cut things. And I have a really hard time doing that because I just always think I need all the different things that I need. Um, so and then the organizer's coming uh, this week, so that she'll probably help me weed out more things that I would think I need to keep, and she's going to tell me to not keep them. Um, okay, so then just doing what I did. Well, that's fun to hear that you do, um, do the same thing as me. Can you tell me how to say your name, Norbia? Am I saying that right? I feel really bad that I don't know how to say your name. Sorry about that. You guys should go follow her on Instagram, Norbia. Um, can you tell me your Insta handle while we're here? And I'll give a shout out. Rachel, hi! I know. You got to get somebody to come help you clean out. Um, I know getting rid of things that you love are hard. Norbaya. So I said that. Norbaya. Is that right? Norbaya. Thank you. Sorry about that. It's so funny when um, I've done like videos with different girls or whatever and I've only known them as like an Instagram person and then I'll be like getting ready to go film with them and then I'll realize I actually don't know their first name, which that's just ridiculous. I'm a Norbaya. That's her Instagram handle. Go follow her. She's in Hong Kong. She has great sense of style. So much fun. Um, somebody was asking... Sorry, I'm getting some like spammy things here too, so I'm trying to not look at the spam. Um, somebody was asking how you develop your own personal style. Um, I think it's about, I'm, you know, it's like taking inspiration. I think it's good to kind of like find people that inspire you and then also just kind of then start to collect images and things that you're drawn to um this is what I used to do with personal clients like I would help them pull and um like inspirational images and then often there was a theme within that and you can kind of tell where people were being drawn to if it was like a very kind of chic look or if it was very girly or whatever so kind of taking that inspiration and then helping yourself look and see what what um is all kind of tied together and I would often help my clients come up with like a two word statement that define their style so like I had a client that was named pretty chic um I'm trying to remember some of the other ones but we would come up with these like uh words that kind of develop um help to define their style so that that's like a starting point sorry okay so these are um these are the bangs all curled as you can see, they've got some life to them here. So then this is what I do. I just go in, finger in, and I just kind of flip it, and that is it. It's nothing crazy or mind-blowing. Um, so because of the curls, it kind of gives it a little bit of texture. I think it gives a little bit of oomph to it. And then I can kind of flip it the other way. And then because of the curls, it kind of gives it a different look. And I think it's about not having like a perfect... Um, part it's about just kind of fingering and and flipping your hair over um so yeah so it's just boop 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 every time it's different kind of crazy but I love it and this is what I've been doing so it's it's really just about putting that texture in I think the heat kind of helps give it that extra oomph there and then I might um spray it a little bit with 
the styling spray to give a little more. And then sometimes, I thought I had it here with me, but sometimes then I take a little bit of a brush, um, like a comb and give it a little teasing so that it kind of holds it even more. Um, but it, yeah, it's really about kind of the imperfection in that big flipping around. So anyways, that is what I've been doing. That's my hair and makeup. I just got ready with you guys and woo, 30, 39 minutes have gone by and here we go. I'm all done, ready. And for me, lipstick, I kind of just grab whatever. Today I'll probably wear pink because um, I'm wearing this fun pink sweater. Do you shop at fast fashion shops ever? Um, for like little things. Lings. And not that I would say I never do, um, but I, I mean, I haven't recently, but I, if I want to buy something that would be considered fast fashion, I just, yeah, I actually really don't. Um, I might buy, like, I just recently bought some socks from Forever 21 or definitely bathing suits, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's, what I do, that's how I get ready. This is my hair. This is what I've been rocking lately. It's definitely a little crazy. And like I said, everything is always a little bit undone, a little imperfect. Um, I think that kind of helps make it interesting and playful. Um, even with my makeup, I try to keep it like really fresh and uh, not too perfect. And that is all that I do. So thank you guys for joining me live. Thanks for hanging out with me while I got ready today. And we are coming back in February with all new content that I'll be creating. And you guys will get to see it every Thursday. The What I Wore. I have some really fun new ideas. I'll be doing the thrifting videos, doing it with other um, collaborators, that kind of stuff. So, so much fun stuff coming up. Stay tuned on my Instagram at B Jones Style. Uh, there's usually some kind of outfit of inspiration, but also just uh, tune in on the Insta stories as well because actually this week in particular, I'm going to be doing some like planning and thinking and dreaming for B Jones Style and I want you guys to be a big part of that and part of the kind of planning and scheming and dreaming and so I'm going to be kind of throwing out some different questions and I would love your feedback over there. So head over to my Instagram at B Jones Style and then pay attention on the Insta stories this week in particular as I um, throw out questions and just this community that we've formed on B Jones style. So anyways, that is it. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys have a great day and good night. If you're going to sleep or good morning, if you're on to Monday already, that would be crazy. I probably are. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to play dress up and I will see you guys later. Bye.